Hey guys, welcome to Anything Goes Show. Combat also here with Random Girl. Mm-hmm. And today we I can pronounce my own name. I can say my name. My name's Random Girl. Alright, and uh yeah, so today was I don't know. I was off. Today we're gonna to talk about blah blah blah. But <laughs> seriously, like, we was trying to play some games. We were trying to play Master Chief, uh Halo Master Chief Collection on Xbox One. And I'm not sure when this happened. There's been a lot of updates and everything. But there's, there's now an update where you can't play with... Uh, basically, you have to have two separate accounts um, paying two different Xbox Live subscriptions. Mm-hmm. Uh, when before, you can, like, have... You know, you can add your... Um, like, somebody in your like somebody who lives with you to your family, and then you kind of share the Xbox Live um, uh, account as far as, you know, the subscription and everything. And now they change that. So, you can't do a guest if, you're sitting ne- if they're sitting next to you. Mm-hmm. And you can't do a, um, uh, a family member... They have to be out of the family, and they have to be paying their own separate Xbox Live subscription. Yeah. So what Combat's basically trying to say is, <laughs> you know, to you basically you have to pay every yeah every account is separate when it wasn't that way before. Yeah. Yeah, and it's weird because Xbox made it that way because mm-hmm. you know they thought it was just ridiculous that you have to pay you know two separate accounts or paying well, for the same, the same live house. when you're in the same house. Exactly. And now for some reason three four three is like, well, we want everybody to have their own. Uh, sub- own subscription to be able to play our game, which is crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It, uh, it yeah. doesn't it doesn't make any sense because you could do it before with no problems, and now all of a sudden it's a problem with this new and update. And what, what gets me is when it first launched, I remember how excited I was because I'm a hardcore Halo fan, and um, I don't know, I have a lot of fond memories with it. With the, you know, just meeting all the awesome people that I met um, throughout Halo, and also um, and. <laughs> Combat <laughs> introduced me to um, Halo, so it's something that, I've, that that's really close to me. And um, dang it, I lost my thought. Can you help me out, Combat? <laughs> it was really close to you. I mean, you said your first real system was like the uh, 360. Yeah, Xbox 360. I love the Xbox 360, and just that whole gaming experience. And you know, so I don't know. Um, what am I trying to say? I just had a lot of fun, you know, and. I just had a lot of fun gaming, and then, um, dang it, I lost yeah, the Halo, ball. Combat, pick it <laughs> up. Halo was like the cornerstone of like why she enjoyed gaming and why she enjoyed yeah. first-person shooters, and to take all the games, put them into one game, and then kind of just make them a shell of themselves, it sucks. Yeah. Like, like I mean, if I were to pop in the old Halo, I would have no problems playing with the guests, mm-hmm. right? But since it's all together in the Master Chief Collection, I can't do that. Oh, see? That made me remember again. Right. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, when the Master Chief Collection came out, I was very excited. I was very stoked because I am a, um, I'm a, I'm a hardcore Halo fan. And when it came out and it first launched, it had so many problems. Like, you couldn't play any Xbox. I think there was only, like, two um, Xbox matches. I mean, um, what do you call it? Multiplayer matches that you were able to play. Mm-hmm. And it took forever. I remember people were so upset like it would literally take two to five hours to get in a game to multiplayer game and we were so upset and I was so mad because I loved Halo you know and there was so there was so much uproar and everybody arguing on Twitter like hey what is going on you get what I mean and then like um, I think it took about it took a long time I think about six months to fix the game and so it's like the point I'm trying to make is you launched with so many problems you know, and you, you, it's like not only did they, did they, did they have so many problems when they launched. It's like now I feel like they don't care. Now you have to pay to play to um, play multiplayer. You know, it's it's not right. Yeah, and I mean the, the whole gaming experience is just it's it's changed. Yeah, not it's, for the better. And, and it's ruined too. It's like you know, and the new game's coming out like you know in a couple months. Yeah. And it's like, I think they just fixed everything. Maybe like. A month ago. Recently, yeah. Like, like very recently. And this game launched November last year. Yes. Almost it'll be almost a year coming up. Yeah. In about two three yeah, about three months it'll be a year. And what do they think? They really think that people are gonna go ahead and spend money on the next game. I know I wouldn't. This I'm game not, is all yeah, I'm not yeah. I'm not buying it. I'm not yeah. buying it. I'm just gonna wait for Gears Remastered mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna buy the new gears, but I'm not buying Yeah, the gamers, the developers, you they're the developers you call them, right? Yeah. The developers that actually stay too too true to the fans and that love their fans and they wanna put out good work. That's that's who I don't mind supporting. Right. You know. And it just I don't know. It, it makes me. It, it's like it's so frustrating. It makes me want to go out there and buy like an old yeah. PlayStation or yeah. Old, that's what know, me and Com- just... yeah exactly. That's what me and Combo were talking about. It's like I had so much fun with the Xbox 360, and they were about the gamers. And it's like I pretty much would rather just buy an Xbox 360 because of all the problems that were happening 
along with having an Xbox One. Yeah, you know, yeah. and it takes it back to even the older games. I remember when games were like more about fun and less about graphics. Graphics, and, yeah, and, and the graphics weren't even and, that bad. No, they it's, weren't. It's just like you and know we, what I was. Uh, talk- we focus so much on clarity. I know? was talking to somebody yeah. at work the other day. And uh, like they were talking about, um, I was showing them versus because mm-hmm. THQ. What's versus? It's a it's a it's a video game, a fighting game. The old school game you yeah. told me about, yeah. Yeah, basically. So if you guys don't know, versus is is this awesome game. Um, it's a game made by THQ. Uh, way back when THQ was like nothing, and it's a fighting game, and it's basically you have all these gangs. It's like five or six different gangs, and four members in each gang, and each gang knows like a different like fighting style or whatever, and it's just it's awesome. But um, I was watching like some gameplay footage on uh, on YouTube. One of the few like I think this is the only uh, footage they have out there on YouTube. Oh, there was just one. I remember yeah, we just... searched for a long time trying to find this one. Yeah, because like it was like everybody was like versus Street Fighter versus yeah. SNK. I'm like no, well, the we're just trying to look for the game first. VS yeah. versus. <laughs> so we found it and like it's all blocky and everything. But like after maybe a couple minutes of watching the gameplay, I'm like this isn't bad. You know, yeah, I could play this yeah. today. It was still fun. Exactly. You know, it was you know Slim Daddy and Mia yeah. and all those guys yeah. like, they were just awesome. and you know what we also have a dreamcast man combat and it's like when you were having fun like to me anyway i don't concentrate on how the great the game looks it's like fun that's what matters to me like you know and it's, it's like sometimes you can have a nice looking game there's nothing wrong with that but it's like when you focus too much on how it looks instead of how fun the game should be it's not as it's not really fun and even on mortal kombat i was i was playing mortal kombat earlier today and like it kept freezing on me like it kept yeah. like i was in the middle of fighting and it kept and I'm, and I'm not playing online guys i'm playing like regular, regular. local against a computer mm-hmm. and it kept like freezing on me mm-hmm. during the match mm-hmm. and like seriously mm-hmm. um and, and and i have a, like uh, like a random girl was saying i got a dreamcast and i got mortal kombat gold on there mm-hmm. and it never freezes on me never it never acts freezes. weird it never, never does freezes. anything weird to so. be honest the best gaming experience i've had was during the 90s um Let's see if I can get these titles right. DOA, Dead or Alive. Yeah, DOA. Tekken. Uh huh. Virtual Fighter. Mm hmm. Bass Fishing. <laughs> Combat doesn't like that. <laughs> he thinks it's boring, but I like bass fishing. And when I was playing, I never, I was never like, oh, these graphics look crappy or blah, blah, blah. I just remember having a good time with, oh, my, yeah. with my family and friends. And I think today we lost sight of that. We're too focused on making things look pretty instead of the actual fun and gaming experience. I mean, the best, and the, like one of the best experiences I have with gaming is uh, there's a game that called, it's called Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer yeah. 4. And me and my brother used to be on that all the time. We would put it on mute, we play some ghost face in the background, oh, some sure shit yeah. like ghost. Yeah. And uh, we would just play it. And it, I mean, I look back at that game now, it looks like crap. But like back then, <laughs> I didn't care how it looked. It was care. just fun. Yeah, and a lot of times too, I think we we, we rush too much with uh, with technology. I mean, but that's another thing. But just with gaming, we focus. Um, we we rush too much. I remember back in like 2006, Combat introduced me to like hardcore gaming. I was like a gamer. I don't know. But anyway, he introduced me to like to the real definition of gaming back in I guess around 2006. Dang, I lost my thought. <laughs> Dang it. Introduced you to real gaming back in 2006. Oh, I lost it. Yes. <laughs> And she loves that game. She oh, loves man. gaming. And oh, the point I'm trying to say is, it's like the graphics weren't that bad. I remember back in the day, they weren't. They were very beautiful. I remember Halo, um, Halo Three that came out. When did it come out? The first. Oh, what was remember. it? Halo Three. Mm-hmm. Halo Three. Do you remember when it came out? No, I don't remember when it came but out. But anyway, like the point I'm trying to make is, it came out a while ago, and it was a beautiful looking game. And it's like, um, you don't have to force. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to make it look so good. Like. It already looks beautiful. You don't have to focus on making it look so clear and so good. Like it, don't you know? You don't have to change it. You get what I mean? Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, it's like them. it's like focus on gameplay mechanics. Yeah. Focus on having the fun. It's like if I'm playing a Mortal Kombat game and it's freezing on me, that's a problem. If I want to play and have some fun yeah. with with the person next to me that's sitting at you know at home, mm-hmm. and it's like. I can't because now I gotta pay for two separate accounts. Yeah. You obviously didn't focus on fun. No, you, you focused didn't. on money. Money. And it's like, Profits. Yep, that's I, basically it. Yeah, I don't wanna deal with that. You know what I mean? I wanna be able to um to go ahead and turn it on and have some fun playing Fine. the games. Because people don't even realize gaming is such a powerful thing. Sometimes if you had a stressful day or if you had a bad day, then you pop in a game and your whole you know, you get to release, you get to fantasize, you know, you just get to straight just have fun. And when you focus too much on profiting and making money and you can tell too, you can always tell the difference and when you focus on that stuff the gamers don't get what they want and what they paid for yeah 
And uh, yeah, it's, you know, and like like Red and Girl was saying, I, mean, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with everything you said. And it just sucks that it's turned into that. Yeah, you it know? really sucks. It really does. It shouldn't have turned into that in the first place. It should have been yeah. just, you know, focusing on fun games. Like Remember, pop- let me I'm sorry for cutting you off combat, but I just remembered one thing. Um, what was it? <laughs> it was an X-Men game. We said X-Men, X and the Professor yeah. X was like, ah, oh! <laughs> What's that game called? Yeah, I think it's called X Men. It was like X-Men. the side scrolling. The side scrolling, mm-hmm. yes. And it, I remember we played that, and I had so much fun. Yeah, I had I, so much fun. I had fun playing like Power Up, Power Rapper, yeah. and uh, Buster Groove. And it was an older game. Mm-hmm. It came out in the 90s. It and was it, fun. And it was about fun. Now, those games that I just named were totally were not about graphics. Yeah. Power Up, Power Rapper were like, it was like flat paper yeah, looking. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, even. um. Uh, Buster Groove, you know, it was awesome, but it was very basic looking characters mm-hmm, and probably mm-hmm, looked great for the time, mm-hmm. but it was a dancing game, you know what I mean? It was right, a game about get right, dancing in rhythm. Right. It wasn't the soundtrack too, didn't they have good music? Oh, they have great they music. Had great I, music. I still have the soundtrack on my computer. Yeah. So yeah. Just... <laughs> I listen to it. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean uh, I don't know. I just <sighs> it sucks. Yeah. So I don't know. And what, um, what's your what's your guys' favorite gaming moment? Like what do you what, What's what, your favorite game? Yeah, what's your favorite game? What's your favorite gaming moment? Like what what's you know for me like I said it was like Ridge Racer 4 and, and there's a few others but like what what game like brings you back? You know what, what I mean? What brings you back? Those gaming experiences, the gaming memories or just what you just had plain old fun back when things were just fun. What's your favorite game experience and memory or just favorite game period? Yeah. Um do you guys remember Frogger? I remember Frogger. I had so much fun playing the game Frogger. You know, simple things. Yeah, yeah. Simple things. <laughs> I never liked Frogger. I tried to get into it. I never really I liked it. I loved Frogger. I loved yeah. it. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Killer Instinct, the real Killer Instinct. Altered Beast. What? Altered Beast. Power Up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that one either. <laughs> I don't know that. That's an oldie but a goodie. That's like original you okay. know, Genesis. But yeah. yeah, tell us what you think. Comment. Let us know. I mean, shoot, let's go back. Memory Lane. Talk Memory about, Lane. Talk about that good game before Memories it got all good. crazy. Yeah. And I don't know. Hopefully we get some feedback from you guys. <laughs> of course. And until next time, folks, we'll see y'all later. Have a good one, peeps.